Hi everyone, Dolan Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video we are continuing to take the Turtle Gila through its paces and this time we're going to try to tackle a Sancha Watch. Not really a site that I run often because in my experience the loot in it is not that great but it's also a site that does have a lot of incoming damage so I think it's a good challenge uh, for this uh, passive Gila that I have built. So let's go in here and let's see if we can get through all of this activating the accelerator gate obviously the gila still amazing looking ship as well i do really enjoy flying it i've been doing what little exploration i've been able to do in the last couple of weeks in this ship and uh, it's it's been a blast also i just come from one of those drone sites nothing too good in the loot but that makes it basically uh, extra juicy of course and well we start off with quite a bit of um, sentry action so we're going to uh, start to target some of these and let's see what kind of incoming damage we get and if we can uh, maybe try this that could be interesting uh, see how well or how badly my missiles take these defense batteries at least the shields are gone in one volley have the armor gone in the next volley and then i'm actually going to try and send if i can man it feels like i set that to a much lower cooldown and uh, it feels like that's still not doing great so these are exploding um damage wise don't fully understand it but we're really not taking a lot of damage and we can start to target some more stuff and a lot of it is actually quite far away that's interesting i thought we would suffer a lot more damage with all of these towers but uh, that's not happening so what we will do is we'll actually just start flying towards them because at the moment enemies are very far away and uh, yeah using my missiles could end up being useful so let's do that let's uh, let my hammerheads do their job and so far while we have a little bit of tracking disruption uh, we still are at 100% shields are they going after my drones let's see if we can have <laughs> both of them just going around doing their own thing uh, moving very far away still nothing in damage we can start to target these guys with the missiles so let's do that as they just blew that stuff up and ooh, I do uh, here's a slave commander um, maybe we'll approach him now next and see if he has some sort of loot or, or something like that we still are taking zero damage that's not of course th the second room is, is where you do get uh, a lot more incoming damage so uh, this is not the real challenge but I'm surprised even these missile batteries have apparently not done anything one two three four let's take that final battery down and then we'll get going on these guys while the slave commander is, is rushing towards me all of these <laughs> are exploding that does look pretty cool and uh, we have a full reload let's see if we can maybe send our final missiles on that senti plague we get another one back here guess we can go for that beast next yeah that's a good choice and now they're actually targeting one of my hammerheads because of how much damage they have been doing. But yeah, this is the Gila. They're pretty tanky. They won't have that much of a problem. And there is that slave commander. Let's see if he can survive my missiles. Two, three, four. Let's do that. See what kind of damage this does. All right, this one, yeah, it's a battle cruiser. Uh, so it does have a little bit more HP here. And we have to do our best to get through these shields. Looks like my drones are going after the juggernauts. Yep, they are. And we can finish this. That should be enough. Now we can go after the other plague. That should be enough. Drones going after the beast. That's good. And now we're taking a little bit of <laughs> shield damage, finally, as that slave commander is very close. Uh, yeah, this shows, I think, the effectiveness of a drone and missile both very well. You can just fire lots of um, DPS off at range 
we have this massive massive amount of shields and uh, it's not a problem we take next to no damage nothing special in the loot here how far away from the accelerator gate am i 21 kilometers yeah definitely a disadvantage that i don't have any traveling mods on this one uh, but this is this is the plan right we are running something like this this gives me a chance to um show you guys a fit again so these extenders lots of people said well you should definitely put in something that um increases the regen if you want a more optimal thing than just lots of hp i definitely agree with that but i like the idea of having this massive 26,000 hp that they have to chew through while my missiles and my drones take their dps down uh, slowly and uh, methodically so we've got some large shield extenders in here actually four faction pieces and we've got some decently cheap if i'm not mistaken shield amplifiers just to get our resistances up a little bit and then down here we get drone damage amplifiers and a couple of shield power relays so very simple just a big big shield passive shield uh, that gives you lots of time to do your stuff and then we get the missiles we get the drones and they'll take care of everything so second room it's gonna be a little bit more interesting here normally you've got a lot more incoming dps i'm also gonna try and get them to attack my ship rather than my drones so we'll have to wait it out and I'm not sure if, if stuff comes in at range. It's been a decently long time since I actually ran one of these watches. But so far, of course, it's pretty obvious. This Gila is the king of combat exploration. Uh, can it do more sides than even the Tick 2 cruisers? It's just so, so strong in general. Incredible application. And uh, it's uh, passing all of these tests with flying colors. So that is the second room right here. Definitely a very big spread of stuff. Uh, let's see if I can find a T here on the type. Yep, there's True Sancha right there at 96 kilometers. I think we'll just straight go towards him. And we have some stuff that's nearby. And that should be in range for my missiles. So we're gonna start. Let's see if I can take this one down. And uh, now we are, yeah, so that's not, that's actually, did I just waste a missile? Let's see what happens when we do three of them. Yeah, so three of them would have been enough. Okay, now we're gonna start to spread our DPS a little bit. All of this stuff is in range. And this time I guess I'll use the EMs just to switch it up a little bit. And here we do have a little bit more incoming damage. You can see that they are hitting my ship a little bit more. We also have some light missile batteries. I'm not too worried about that. And then this is, yeah, this is that Testudo formation. While uh, the enemy tries to break my shields, which they will normally not be able to do, I have like my javelin throwers, which are all of these missiles that um, just keep doing damage, destroying stuff all over the place. And then of course I also have my drones that uh, fly out there and keep destroying enemies one at a time. Slowly, methodically, and uh, while they take me down 10% almost, they are suffering losses basically all the time. I do really enjoy this. And let's see if we can find... Ooh, that true Sancha. Ooh, he's, he's really racing towards me. Interesting. I uh, should definitely try to grab him. Because uh, he's pretty fast and pretty aggressive. So we're gonna want to... And one of my infiltrators is being attacked. Um, let's see. I'll return this one. Because... Uh, return, return, return. There we go. Because they are pretty uh, aggressive when it comes to these drones. And they're doing a decent amount of damage. In the meantime, let's see. We'll do 3 and 4 on you. Just take care of that juggernaut. Drone is in. Then we'll switch to one thermal. They're already switching to yet another drone. So now we're going to take that through Sancha. Let's see if he likes this. 3, 4. Do a bit of missile damage as well. Oh, he, he doesn't have any HP. That was just... True Sasha Slave Hunter Rick now was just uh, deleted in absolutely no time. And uh, yeah, we're, we're passing through this again with flying colors, despite the fact that everything is now shooting at me. <laughs> These shields are not budging. Oh, no, there's some of them going after my EM drones. Let's return that one. And let's, uh, yeah, see if we got any loot. Sent in beast, that's a good choice for my hammerheads. Unfortunately, we don't have any loot, but uh, here we go. Very, very easy. I'll do a reload on you as well. 
And uh, this is that shield in action right now. We're just gonna let them do their thing for a little bit, showing you guys how strong this um, this shield tank is. It's just straight up taking that beating in the second room of a Sasha watch. No problem whatsoever. This is very impressive. A little bit of drone management because everything is so far away. They do like to switch there, but super, super easy to get to that main target, to get that loot. We're even just going to sit here, take that beating. It looks amazing. Uh, of course, also all of that shield action. They're slowly doing some damage, but look at that. I'm still at 75%. They are really struggling. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Another test with this Gila that is very successful. Thank you very much for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.